hey man, first of all, UFC 300 was amazing. UFC 300 was way beyond what I expected. I'm not gonna lie, dog. The card was crazy from the beginning. Now, I understand a lot of people were disappointed with the main, ev main event when it was first announced because Dana told us it's gonna be freaking Goku versus Vegeta and it wasn't, okay? We all know what happened, dog. He tried to make some crazy fights, it fell apart, and Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill stepped in, right? But you cannot tell me that was not the most amazing event ever, dog. I love UFC 300. It was way beyond, okay? Way beyond what I expected. Way beyond. I am so happy. I was just saying it was my birthday a few days ago. I just couldn't believe what I was watching. Now, Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey. By the way, this is Betty the Bear. This is my product. I made this. This isn't a sponsor. Who am I to get sponsored? Look. Benny the Bear, this is a gift for stoners. I don't smoke, but I'm in Los Angeles and everyone does. It's a cool accessory gift you could give to your stoner friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend if you're a girl, yourself, your friend. Just buy it for yourself if you're a stoner. It's a cool gift, bro. Put it on the counter, blaze with it, dog. If you want to support me, man, I'll post a link in the description, www.litplush.com. If you don't want to buy one, don't worry, dog. No one buys one anyway. Anyway, must be 21 and older to order. Benny the Bear, guys. <laughs> okay. Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey was probably, that was probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen. That was, Max Holloway is a legend, dog. Max Holloway is a legend, and he's only 32. He even said it at the press conference. It's like, most people think I'm 40, and so did I, because we've been watching him since 20 years old. Now, I'm older than Max Holloway, dog. I thought Max Holloway is like 10 years older than me. Bro, Max Holloway is a true legend, dog. What he did to Justin Gagey, and Justin Gagey is a warrior, dog. Justin Gagey is a monster, man. It's a monster, but I hate that he took that fight, dog. I hate that Justin Gagey took the fight with Max Holloway when he had the Islam fight, the title fight, lined up next. How many people said this is a dumb idea? Islam said it, Habib said it, all the fans said it, man. But I get it, dog. Justin Gagey is a warrior. It was UFC 300. He was prompt. pretty sure he got paid a massive amount. All those bonuses, whatever, bro. But Max Holloway, what Max Holloway did to Justin Gagey from beginning to end, dog. From beginning to end, people were talking about Max Holloway is going to get killed. People, and I made a video a couple days ago, and I'm a nobody, dog. I'm just a fan, dog. I'm not one of these people that sit there, analyze, oh, I'm an MMA expert. Shut your ass up, bro. All you people that are on YouTube, on Twitter, supposedly MMA experts, you've never played a sport in your life, dog. You've never fought in your life. How can you? And, I, and don't get me wrong. I, I'm not a fighter. I used to box a little, but I'm not trying to say I am. But all these people that are sitting there, and ra analyzing round by round. Ah, I think this round he's gonna touch him with his toes. I think this round he's gonna slap me. Shut up, bro. All, all of these predictions that I see online, they're all wrong. You know why? Because all these predictions are done by nerds. They've never played sports in their life. I'll listen to a professional fighter saying a prediction. I'll never listen to a nerd from his mom's basement sitting there saying, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, he ate too much, uh, he ate too much, he ate too much two days ago, he's gonna lose, man, please shut up, man, all you guys, all your predictions were wrong, I actually said Max Holloway is gonna give a good fight to Justin Gagey, I, and, and I'm always wrong too, I'm always wrong, we suck, bro, stop predicting, you guys are all wrong, bro, on YouTube, on Twitter, you guys all suck, dog, Max Holloway, what Max Holloway did to Justin Gagey was freaking amazing, dog, it was freaking amazing, at the last 10 seconds or whatever it was, dog, he could have been running around, raising his hands. He won that fight, bro. Even Dana White said it. He stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Justin Gagey, one of the most dangerous people ever, dog. When blow for blow, no homo, last one or two seconds, he caught Justin Gagey, even though it was so exciting. Even though it was so excited, I'm like, damn, Justin Gagey, bro. That was sad, man. Because you guys remember that one that one time Justin Gagey got knocked out? I think it was with Dustin Poirier. He was slurring words. But let's let's forget about the Justin Gagey part, bro. Max Holloway is a G, dog. That guy is my hero, bro. No one would have done that, dog. No one would have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe when he won the fight, dog. The whole fight he won, bro. 
Dude, he was getting hit hard too, man. Yes, he went down. With that. I don't think they count him as a knockdown. But whatever. Let's just say he went down. Dude, Max Holloway's chin is freaking crazy, dog. It's freaking... And, bro, Max Holloway, dog, I'm so impressed, man. I'm so, like... I'm... S like, the respect I have for Max Holloway... And he, I'm a nobody to give him respect. Who am I? I'm just a fan, dog. But... I was just watching that. I'm like, oh my god, this is a legend, dog. Like, even though before this he was a legend, I'm like, bro, this, this right here is 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 a G, dog. This is a G, bro. This is a guy where he's walking down the street. People are like, hey, dog, it's Max Holloway, bro. This guy's a G, dog. Bro, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, though. I mean, he deserves all the praise, all the money, everything. Now, freaking Ilya Kaporia, man, shut up, dog. So this. I'll show you what Ilya Taporia said about Max Holloway's performance, okay? I'm pretty sure they're going to fight. And in my opinion, Max is going to beat Ilya Taporia. I just think Max's, Max's style is not a good matchup for Ilya Taporia. I don't think so. I just think Max is going to... Bro, Max Holloway's style is not a good matchup for Ilya Taporia. Now, did you guys see Ilya Taporia's reaction to the knockout? And I'm going to show you what he said after this. If you haven't seen his reaction to the knockout, okay? <laughs> Just look at his reaction. He was mind blown, dog. Look at this reaction. No homo about the mind blown. <laughs> wait up, wait up, wait up. Let me. Okay. Now, that was Ilya Taporia's reaction. Even Max Holloway talked about it afterwards at the post-fight press conference. Someone brought it up. They're like, oh, did you see Ilya Taporia's reaction? Because Max Holloway wants to fight Ilya Taporia. He was calling him up. And even Max Holloway's like, bro, is this guy like socially awkward? Now, after the fight, Ilya Taporia did an interview with Spanish, right? It was the Spanish ESPN, I guess. And I'm not going to play the whole thing for you. It says what he said. This is what Ilya Taporia had to say about Max Holloway. Because he also said, we're most likely going to fight, okay? And just this is what Ilya Taporia said, bro. Like, why would you say this, dog? You were mind blown just two seconds ago. Look at this. I saw nothing special, to be honest with you, in the end. A game of exchanging blows. Yeah, and then the whole time he was saying some weird stuff. Exchanging blows. Uh, without any strategy behind it. Just throwing blows without any defense. Yeah. That, oh, yes, but Max Holloway ran away with that fight. He didn't have to do that. That would never happen with me. Max has talked a lot all week, but the results are what he couldn't do in 90 minutes, I did in nine minutes, dog. You think Ilya Taporia will do that to Justin Gagey, dog? Are you kidding me, bro? I see that when they pressure Max, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to walk backwards. Now, part of it could be he's selling the fight he's talking trash but dog listen no one i guarantee you the biggest max holloway hater which i don't know how you could be a max holloway hater right like how can you be now i don't think Ilya Tapori is a max holloway hater he's just he's either jealous of what happened dog or he knows he's gonna fight him soon and he's trying to cut a promo or whatever but dude you cannot watch that fight with Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey and say it wasn't special at the end, in the beginning. The whole fight, bro, the whole fight, Max Holloway was piecing up Justin Gagey. And Justin Gagey was getting him back, bro. But Max Holloway was winning. And let's not forget, dog, Max Holloway is coming up a weight class to fight a freaking killer, bro. People were saying, let's, let's keep reminding ourselves who Justin Gagey is, bro. Let's keep reminding ourselves that Justin Gagey was supposed to kill Max Holloway and the fight went like that. And with 10 seconds left, I know I keep repeating you, bro, but it's really important. When 10 seconds left, Max Holloway said, forget about this. If I get knocked out, I get knocked out. This is for the fans. He goes in the middle. He does this. The sickest thing ever. He just exchanges blows. Yeah, it was no defense. It wasn't strategy. That's not the point, bro. The point is he won the fight. The whole fight, he won the fight. And the last 10 seconds, he exchanged with the scariest guy with a high percentage of, of getting knocked out, bro, and losing the fight. But he didn't. He knocked out Justin Gagey. Last second or one second, man. Look.
That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, man. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Who do you have winning when Max Holloway and Ilya Jaboria fight? Comment below. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. And I'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification. Thank you so much for watching.